coming up to autumn in the northern hemisphere if you're not in the tropics and there's something really satisfying I feel anyway about making your own gun camouflage uh, for the autumn hunting season and I'm going to show you how I did this one here I've made gun camouflage uh, in the past and uh, by a different method and this time I'm going to explain another method here and it's actually really easy you don't need much it costs almost nothing and yeah I know you can go and buy tape and wrap your gun and all this kind of stuff with it but there is something really satisfying about making your own patterns and you can tailor make them too to your actually environment that you're in Okay, so we're going to do one of these camouflage colors now. So we've got a piece of paper, and the length of paper that you want to choose, I've got an A3 size sheet of paper because the barrel of my PCP is only about this long. So, you know, that's what I'm going to start with there. But, the, you know, I, I suggest practicing this beforehand. And uh, I couldn't find a, um, a jar, but we'll pretend that's the base of a jar and that this piece of glass. And I've just got a small piece of plastic here flexible plastic. So the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to put one of our leaves that we've found, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of leaf it is, in this case this is a oak leaf. Uh, so we're going to use that oak leaf and we're going to put a bit of paint. You don't need much, that's the whole thing. You know, so just, oops, that's too much actually, you just want a very small amount of paint. Now I said earlier on you don't need artist paint, that is an artist style paint, but we don't actually need that. So I'm going to smear this around and I put that leaf on there like that and what I'm going to do is I'm get the paper and put it over there like that and press down on that like this and then I'm going to peel this off and that's the first part of it there like that and then what we're going to do we're going to take remove the leaf some other colors here but here this is just for autumn colors a little bit of red well this is a reddy violet and we're going to smear those as well down and start with that there so we're going to take our leaf now and put some color on that some yellows smear that over the leaf and then take that and we can take out plastic get this. I'm going to try some other colors now.
You can see it's starting to take shape here. Oops, in the color. Okay, the next step is once the uh, your uh, camouflage colors are dry, I put apply this to it. This is silicone liquid, and it's silicone liquid, and um, you can coat it with this stuff, and it will just dry clear, and this will make it somewhat weather resistant. Okay. Now the other thing that you've got to do too is you've got to coat the back of the paper with the silicone uh, treatment as well too to make it, you know, if you really want to make it truly weatherproof. And one thing I learned is uh, if you don't let this stuff dry really well and you touch one side to the other, you see this there, this actually, it will stick. It, so you've got to make sure it is definitely not tacky. This is no longer tacky. This is the other side here. And it's really important before you start the final operation, and that is to fit it on um, parts of your, your uh, gun, you need to make sure that it's not tacky, it's fully cured and it usually takes about a day. This particular stuff here, it works by um, ethanol evaporating out of, the, um, out of this material. Yeah. So as an example I'm going to use this moderator here, this is an air gun moderator of course which just, uh, if you've seen my previous videos, it's a very simple moderator design uh, and the physics of the moderation, sound moderation is based upon what's called the orifice plate. So essentially just to recap, this is a hollow cylinder here of a much larger airspace so that um, the real muzzle of the, the weapon would be down here somewhere. And you have this plate which is simply a hole in there like that and uh, that forms what's called the orifice plate. Okay. And of course there is sort of one here too, if you take that into account there as well, and that's what moderates the sound. Now just a tip, when you're coating it with uh, this clear silicone liquid, it can be difficult sometimes to see where you've actually coated it. So if you hold it into the light, you can see it reflected, and you should be able to see it like that, so you can see where you coated and where you have it. And that's just as equally as important on the back part. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut the... Uh, our piece of um, colored paper which has been coated on both sides with silicon and I've fitted it around the moderator of this weapon. It's not finished yet, I've just glued the seam um, and it shouldn't take too long to dry and I'm going to use that uh, to camouflage the end of the moderator with the autumn colors and it looks pretty autumn to me. Finished. <laughs> 